So that's it for our fan mails uh, for this week. Just one, like I said, I think you guys are uh, still kind of getting back from the vacation mode, but that's okay. You guys are still really active on the Facebook. But we got on the line with us right now. Really excited about this. You guys know we, we've, we've done a series before. We talked to a lot of guys doing video games uh, uh, on your on your iOS devices, on your Android devices, stuff like that in the past. Uh, here's another up-and-coming one uh, that, w that we're about to hear about. Uh, Brian Papa is on. Am I saying that? I is there any inflection I'm missing with that? No, just Papa. Okay. That's fine. <laughs> That's yeah. a cool name. That's a cool name, uh, which is uh, you know great since we have Papa Lunchbox here with us representing our show. Hey. No relation. No relation. No That's relation. What, I just no. wanted to clear that out for you guys on audio there. Um, so you are um, um, uh, kickstarting. Uh, we're familiar with kickstarters on this on this program. Um, a new iOS game. Can you tell us a little bit about it? Uh, yeah, it's called Ringmaster, and it is a pro wrestling promoter simulation. So it's a game in which instead of playing as a pro wrestler, you play as the guy uh, running the promotion. Um, it's uh, it's on Kickstarter now. Uh, the backing period ends um, on Monday, January 13th, and uh, I'm only about 13 or 14 percent of the way there, so there's a long way to go. But, um, you know, hopefully uh, people think it's a cool idea and everybody kind of comes together at the end and, and uh, I get funded. Mm -hmm. Now, I, it, one thing that impressed me about this is, is it felt like um, there's a lot of really cool concepts, again, on, um, you know, again, on these mobile platforms. But you, get, you kind of stick out as far as the art style. It, it feels like they, they're they're great on concepts. We we've had like you know uh, wrestling manager simulators. We've had um, um, another you know kind of build your own wrestling thing. I think with Wrestling Revolution, um, but you you definitely have a really cool, different, clean style in comparison to a lot of them. It seems. Yeah, um, I think what what happened last year was when this kind of started. Well, obviously it started last year because this year just started, but, um, yeah, last year, um, we was having conversations about, uh, what it would take to make something like this. And initially I wasn't too hyped about the idea because I figured, you know, I'd probably have to hire an artist somewhere and, you know, maybe it would be like somebody with like some like comic book experience and they'd draw like these like realistic looking muscular guys. And, um, you know, like I'd have to maybe try to like clone, the real wrestlers that are out there in the real world, like a lot of other games do. Cause you know, I'm not going to be able to afford like the WWE license, you know, which is probably not even available. So, um, I thought it was really important to, um, have like a really unique kind of art style, um, that looked, uh, great on an, on an iPhone. And, um, it turns out that, um, a guy that I've known through the internet for years, a man named Jeff Munn, he's a, he's an illustrator. And um, he has a really cool webcomic called Kiosk. And I've known him for about 16 years through the Internet because we used to do eFeds together uh, way back in the day. And, uh, you know, we've kind of kept up since then, social media and stuff. And, um, yeah, he was doing a wrestling storyline last year in his comic. And when I saw that, I was like, oh, Jeff is the perfect guy to be working on with this. So, um, you know, once that all came together, I was like, OK, let's let's give this a shot. Awesome, awesome. So, so, so you talked about you know again. There's other guys doing uh, kind of. It definitely looks different. Uh, what are you hoping to bring gameplay wise uh, to to really have this stick out uh, uh, for iOS? Um, so, as far as gameplay goes, I'm really influenced um, not not so much by any particular wrestling games that are out there, but more um nintendo's sort of strategy and sim offerings like um fire emblem and, and advanced wars and uh and uh sim city 2 is a little bit of, of an inspiration to the, their super nintendo version from back in the day mm -hmm. um and the way that they're sort of laying the groundwork is you know those games are um really uh simple but uh, at the same time they have a lot of depth because they have a really um well-defined kind of system to them. So um, I'm kind of bringing elements from those games into this promoter sim world. And, um, you know, I, I want it to be something where it's really easy to, uh, to kind of put 
everything together. So instead of like digging through a whole bunch of menus um, that are text-based or something like that, it just takes a bunch of gestures like dragging wrestlers um, onto the screen to put them in a match. And then you drag a second person down to put him in the match. And if you want to make it a three-way dance, you drag down a third guy. Um, so it's, it's got a really, um, kind of easy and intuitive interface. And then just switching matches is just like a tap on the screen. You get a nice little animation when you switch between gimmick types. And, um, yeah, it's just a bunch of like taps and drags, um, which I think is, is, makes it a little bit more fun and also, um, something that you can kind of use in any situation. Like it can be something where you're holding your phone in two hands, or if you're like riding the subway or something like that, you can just be kind of doing it with your thumb. So, um, you know, I wanted it to be something that works sort of in any situation where you might be using your phone. Awesome. Awesome. Yeah. yeah you, that definitely, it needs to have that, definitely have that pick up and play. Cause that's always been my issues, uh, with, uh, you know, some of the other ones was it felt like I needed to sit down for a while with it, you know? Um, and yeah. I really like that. We're showing some video here while you're talking, of course, uh, I noticed it, it, it seems smooth. You, you seem to be using the click and drip of the, the tap and drag a bit more. It feels like it belongs, uh, on, you know, say an iOS device. And you are just, uh, targeting iOS to begin with, correct? Um, yeah, it's, um, initially just going to be iOS. I mean, I'm a, I'm an experienced iOS developer, so I know, you know, um, how to, uh, look at an app and be like, okay, this is how long it's going to take. And I can come up with a pretty accurate estimate of, of that. And, um, you know, it's something I can actually deliver on. So, you know, I, I'm able to budget a certain amount of time and of course then budget a certain amount of money. So really, um, just going iOS only for the initial, um, scope of the project is, is what I'm going for. And then, you know, if it gets funded successfully and then it's released to the app store and is, is, uh, does well, then, you know, I'll certainly port to, uh, other platforms. Mm -hmm. Uh, looks like you've got some interesting uh, uh, content on here in support of this. I see uh, uh, Scrap Iron, Iron uh, I'm sorry, uh, Scrap Iron uh, Adam Pierce, uh, uh, for one, is uh, you have linked on here. Yeah, um, I've been trying to, you know, come up with sort of strategic partnerships, I guess, to help get the word out and also just kind of make the game cooler maybe to certain uh, fans that are fans of certain kind of media. So, uh, yeah, Adam Pierce announced today uh, that, that he's going to be joining the game. Nice. Uh, so you'll be able to book him in, in matches. You know, maybe you think he deserves a, a shot. Uh, you, can, you can push him if you want. Um, then uh, I made another uh, announcement um, last week. Uh, there's an author named Paul O'Brien who writes a really cool... Uh, crime novel series set in the 70s territory era called uh, Blood Red Turns Dollar Green. And um, the series is endorsed by like Mick Foley and Paul Heyman and some other some other uh, nice. folks, William Regal. Uh, there, there he is. Um, and it's actually uh, being developed as a television series right now. So uh, one of the characters from the book is going to be in the game, and uh, Paul's going to be writing a foreword to the uh, iBook that, that uh, I'm going to put out for Ringmaster. Awesome. Awesome. So, um, you know, at, at this point, uh, it looks like you're getting some great response, uh, definitely from the industry, uh, for this. Um, and granted it's, it's pretty, 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 uh, big, uh, 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 goal here for the last three days here. Um, if Kickstarter starter doesn't make it, is that the end of this for this project? Do you have plans to go on otherwise? Um, it's going to be the end of it for a little <laughs> while at least. Yeah. Um, I mean, my thought is if I couldn't make it on Kickstarter, can I really make it anywhere? Mm -hmm. And, you know, you can always like be like, well, maybe it would have done well if I had done this or if I had done that. But I feel like, you know, it, if it was going to happen, it, it should have just happened. Yeah. Uh, so, you know, it could be like a side project maybe, or maybe not, I guess. Um, it's something where I'm, I'm it, the chances of it actually continuing if the Kickstarter doesn't work out are very slim. Um, there still is a chance. But um, it's something that, like, I probably don't even really want to think about right now. You know what I mean? I kind of just, if it doesn't work out, I'm just going to kind of walk away for a little bit and then maybe revisit it later. Mm -hmm. uh, it, it but even that's a maybe. Yeah, yeah. It, I mean, it definitely, it looks like a fun project. It, it, even if, if that doesn't get kicked off, I'd love to see something happening with this art and everything. The concept, I, I think, is very, very solid. 
Um, so uh, if anybody's out there, uh, want to help this out, uh, please do. You know, maybe maybe somebody will help you out afterwards. Um, that's great. Um, oh, real quick, anybody on the horn here? You have any questions for our guests? I've got a couple. Yeah. Um, well, I, I also wanted to say that um, you've uh, I've I've seen information about this game in multiple places uh before i even found out that you were booked on our show um i saw you were linked on kotaku and you also did an interview with um uh uh oh god what's his name over at figure four. Oh yeah i was on uh brian alvarez's uh show today. alvarez that's yeah that's what it is yeah so you're definitely generating a, a lot of positive buzz uh what i'm curious about is um i want to know about uh about you i mean you were talking about your influences uh developing a game like this um how long have you been a wrestling fan um whoops uh for about 25 years um i remember the first night i watched was um the first royal rumble uh you know i was a kid my dad was kind of flipping through the channels that was on free tv and uh you know i kind of got hooked from that so i've been i've been a, uh, a gamer just about as long too Excellent. Uh, what are you playing right now? Um, hmm. I was uh, doing GTA Five. I finished up that, and then I had um, the new Arkham sitting around for a while, so I finally fired that up the other night. And uh, I'm not really feeling it, to be honest. <laughs> uh, it's not as. Uh, it seemed a little, a little repetitive, and. Um, all the like all the brawls I was getting into, they were really hard for some reason. I was just like beating up some street f- thugs, and it, I was fighting them for like ten minutes. <laughs> like, <what? laughs> that's the new one. That's the, from the new studio. That's not uh, Rocksteady, right? Yeah, right, yeah, right. So. Okay. Uh, and then also um, on my phone, um, I've been playing San Andreas. That just came out. of few weeks ago uh but i'm super excited for um final fantasy 6 showing up on i think it's on android and ios um mm-hmm. i know they announced it as winter and i haven't played that game in probably like 15 years and it's one of my favorite games of all time so i'm, I'm really looking forward to that getting re-released so i can revisit that world excellent um let's see if you had to pick your uh I don't know, favorite three wrestlers right now, who would they be? Um, well, right now, I mean, I, I'd say, actually, I'll just, I'll give a different answer for the first one, because I'll just say all time, um, and he's still around, and it's not a popular choice. It's Triple H. I've uh, just always been a big fan of Hunter. Um, just his heel characters over the years, I think they're always, they've always been awesome. Um and then, you know, I mean, but he's not really a wrestler so much anymore. Um, the other two guys, uh, I'd say, yeah, Daniel Bryan is, um, you know, he was somebody that when he was in Ring of Honor, uh, I, you know, I was like, this guy can totally, you know, get up to the next level and be a big star mm-hmm. on TV. Uh, I never doubted that for a second. Just, just the way that he works. Like, I was like, you know, this guy he just kind of leaves it all out there and he, you know, kind of, um, he's the kind of guy that, you know, when he comes out from behind the curtain, you know, he goes out, he does his thing and then he goes back and it's all, it's all show. Like, I feel like he, it's something where like, you know, you watch it and just like the way he hits the ropes and everything, you know, it's just all these little things. Uh, I always felt like he was going to be a big deal someday. Uh, and then, um, I guess out of the, out of the rest, um, you know, I, I like, um, right now I like what Orton's doing as a heel. I think he's, he's doing a good job. He's, he's getting it done as the top heel. Um, I am excited for Batista to come back. I think that should be pretty cool. Um, and then, you know, the Rhodes brothers, um, I was at the MSG house show, uh, what was that two weeks ago? Um, when Cody did the moonsault off the cage that kind of made the rounds on the internet. Um, they're just like a really fun, uh, t- tag team. Um, you know, a lot of people are like, Oh, they should break up for WrestleMania. Uh, and I think that's 
from what I've heard, that's not going to happen anymore, but um, I'm glad about that. I feel like they should just stay as a team. Like why, why end a good thing, especially when they break up every other team anyway. Awesome. Awesome. Oh, and of course, Jake Excellent. the Snake Roberts. I mean, you know, that's... <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's I mean, kind of I, I, I don't even know how many times I've watched that clip again in the last 24 hours, but it's a lot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, last night when we were watching it, I was uh, facing the computer, and I just heard the first chord of his song of his theme song. I'm like, oh, holy shit! It's Jake the Snake Roberts, <laughs> because he was the first guy that got me hooked to wrestling. So it was. Little little mark out moment. Um, what, yeah. what will be your fa- what will be your favorite wrestling video game? Oh, um, uh, the sim the sim games. I'm not. I was never too fond of. Like, I kind of feel like I'm sort of making my own mark here with the way I'm doing it. Um, so, uh, other than that, it would probably be No Mercy um, or or maybe WrestleMania 2000, just because No Mercy was so slow in four player mode. Um, but yeah, that that it would be one of those two. Awesome. Okay. I'm actually gonna have to move because my battery is running very low. That's okay. <laughs> That's all right. We'll let you go before you die here. Uh, 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 but thanks uh, again. Uh, you can find it Kickstarter on Rick. Uh, one uh, final question. Oh, sword, one final can't question. Let it go without doing the final I'm sorry. question. The big well, question. Your battery's dying. All right, real quick with the final question. <laughs> okay, I'm plugged quick in. Quick as possible. It's the <laughs> final question. The big WMS question. You're in the hot seat. Are you ready for this, sir? Oh, yes. If you were any kind of vegetable, what kind of vegetable would you be? Uh, I would be a sweet potato. No question. Sweet potato. Yeah. No quite certainty right out of the gate. Fantastic. <laughs> yeah. I, I've always known the answer to that one. <laughs> in his heart and his soul, he always knew the answer to that one. <laughs> All right. Can I do it now? Am I allowed to exit now? Go, you Are you sure? Right ahead, Are you sir. sure? I'm frozen. I don't remember how interviews work. I'm sorry. It's so cold down here. Um, sorry. <laughs> and of course, uh, if you go to kickstarter.com, search Ringmaster, it comes right up, right? Uh, a- anywhere else uh, people can check out uh, your work otherwise? Um, well, yeah. I mean, if people have questions about the project, uh, just send me a Kickstarter message. There's a great messaging platform there. And then um, also on Twitter, I'm at bpapa, B-P-A-P-A. And uh, yeah, you know, I'm always tweeting about all sorts of different stuff. So awesome. uh, it's a good way to, to reach out to me there. So Mayhemers, get out in force, help them out. Uh, I just put uh, 10 bucks in, uh, in the kitty here uh, during the show. So uh, I got <laughs> what? You go, Sorg. I'm That's sorry awesome. with my old timey <laughs> references. Um, so thanks a lot, Brian. And with that, uh, we got a little bit of news here.